Hello, everybody. I'm going to wait a couple minutes, let people get on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name is Dulce Monal. I am the Troop Support Specialist in the West. So I do the Panhandle and um, Valentine down to North Platte and McCook area. So I have um, kind of half the state when you cut the map in half. Uh, I just don't have a lot of population like the other end, end of the state. Um, my coworker, Lila Munsell, is uh, monitoring the chat so if you have any questions you can uh, put that in the chat and she'll answer your questions there. Um, so today we are going to talk about the difference between take action projects and community service projects and um, I'm going to give you some examples and kind of explain them to you. So um, a take action project are projects that help solve an issue by discovering the cause and developing a project to affect or eliminate the cause of the problem. Okay? A community service project stops when you stop, but a take action project does not. Take action projects are sustainable. Community service projects are projects that help solve an immediate need. The easiest way to tell them apart is community service is a need and a take action is an issue. Okay. Um, so a community service project addresses an immediate need in the community, a project done for the community, and it's a one-time project that helps something or someone. And a take action project um, addresses the root cause of the issue in the community, a project done with the community, and it's a long-term project that is sustainable and makes a lasting impact. There is no doubt that both types of projects make the world a better place. They just do it in different ways. Let me give you a couple of examples of um, the difference between a take action and a community service and then I'm going to share some ideas uh, that Spirit of Nebraska has come up with uh, for both projects um, and if you would like to share ideas that you have in the chat so that everybody can see them that would be awesome because maybe something that you've come up with somebody else hasn't thought of but maybe their community would benefit from it so if you would share with us, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, so my first example is a homeless shelter. If you went to a homeless shelter and asked them what their need was, they may reply with blankets, pillows, money, uh, towels, those kind of things. But if you ask them what their issue is, the issues that they're facing are, um, they may respond with that they cannot launder the linens at their facility. Um, so when you're looking at this, um, you're going to ask yourself, so why can't they, why can't they wash their linens? Um, so the community service project is to donate the items they need and the take action project would be to start with the question of why can't they wash linens? So this takes research. 
Um, so you would work with the facility. They're going to tell you probably they don't have machines, they don't have working machines, something like that. So then um, it's going to take research. You're going to look into it. Maybe, maybe the girls would go to um, a local uh, appliance store and see about getting a washer and dryer donated. And they could reach out to churches to see if they could get laundry detergent and fabric softener donated each month. Um, so they're going to want to make things continue um, in this project. And then because they've taken care of everything and lined everything up, uh, that's the, that's the uh, sustainability of it. So that the homeless shelter would then have a washer and dryer to be able to do the linens. Um, when they don't have facilities like that, then they end up donating um, their stuff to the people who take it because they can't wash it and use it for somebody else. And so then they just need more donations. Um, another example is uh, a youth reading. The youth reading is the issue. So um, for a community service project, uh, you would volunteer to tutor at a local library, school, or youth club. Um, the Take Action project would be that you notice that a local youth club doesn't have a tutoring program and you would work with that club uh, to design a tutoring program from start to finish for them. So they um, would have tutors continuous. So um, that would maybe require you to um, connect with a local high school in the community and see about getting one of their clubs in the school to volunteer to tutor at the youth club. Um, and so then that would be sustainable because every year whoever joins that club at the school would go um, volunteer to tutor at the youth club. Okay, so those are just two different examples of the difference between take action projects and service projects, okay? Um, so now I'm going to share some ideas. Um, so some ideas for take action projects. Uh, so um, sewing pillowcases for children, for the children's hospital or cancer centers. Uh, and for this to be a take action project, you would need to line up a sewing club or um, maybe even the um, school in their sewing class would be able to do that every year. So you would line up somebody to be able to continue to sew those pillowcases and then donate them um, to the facility. So that would make it a take action project. Um, how about uh, some of the small towns discovering uh, your town has no food pantry and is in need of one. So that would require um, the girls to find a location um, and that, that a food pantry could be held at and uh, working with that location to get donations in every month or every week, however they wanted to run it. So it would be them building a food pantry and essentially running it um, but then being able to hand that off to somebody else uh, to, c to continue to run, okay? Um, how about your town needs a dog park? You know, have a dog park. Um, so you could work with the city office and um, reach out to other organizations to be able to get the funding to be able to build a dog park. Um, and then the city would be the one, hopefully, to maintain it. So that would make it that take action project. So the city would take it on after the girl was done getting it all put, the girls were done getting it all put together. Um, and then uh, I posted this on Facebook that somebody shared um, that a girl scout troop actually uh, saved up money or got donations. Um, and purchased an animal oxygen mask and they donated it to the fire station. So they, I put that under take action projects because I felt like um, that's a need that the fire station needs. 
like if they're going to fires, um, they're not going to be able to save those animals unless they have an oxygen mask uh, specifically for those animals. And it, it like fits over their snout, their their nose and their mouth. It was It's kind of cool. So um, I thought that was an awesome uh, take action project. So donating an oxygen mask for animals to the, to the local fire station. Um, and then them using it continually, that's the, the continuous part of the take action. Okay, so that's what I have for take action projects. There are so many more that you can come up with. Um, and like I said, please share them in the comments so that other people um, can have your ideas as well. So some service project ideas. Um, uh, make homemade non-skid socks to donate to the nursing home. I thought that was kind of awesome. Um, I'm actually going to approach my troop about doing this uh, for Christmas because we adopted a nursing home several years ago and every Christmas we would go Christmas Carol to them and uh, the girls would have made something for them uh, and we give them a Christmas gift. So I think we're going to do non-skid, homemade non-skid socks. Um, it sounded kind of cool uh, for them to have. Um, so other things with the nursing home, Christmas caroling is an awesome service project um, for this time of year and just working with the nursing homes, like making holiday cards for them and delivering them. So with COVID, this is all a little bit different. Um, so maybe um, if you reached out to the nursing home uh, director and Maybe you could go decorate the outside of their windows um, with, I don't know, Christmas sayings or um, sayings of hope. Like they've been locked in their in their their nursing homes for quite a while now. So I mean, just anything that we can do. Maybe they would let you Christmas carol in the courtyard, and they could all come to the window and watch. Um, so the girls would just have to sing really loud. Uh, but they would be outside and, and, um, they wouldn't, like the people wouldn't be right there staring at them. So I feel like girls could be really loud outside. Um, let's see. Make animal, animal blankets to donate to the local animal shelter. Um, so that when those dogs get adopted, they get to take that blanket with them. Um, make, uh, animal, uh, toys. So like toys for dogs or cats. Um, make homemade toys to donate to either a dog park. So the dog park that we have here has like a little box where you put the toys in uh, that the, all the dogs can share and play with. Um, so you could donate to, to those boxes or you could donate to an anim animal shelter um, for those pets who are in animal shelters to have toys to play with. Um, let's see. I went to holiday cards. So, sorry take holiday cards to the nursing home and when I say holiday cards I don't mean just Christmas so you could take and make birthday cards and give them to the director and they can hand them out when it's um, somebody's birthday so if you just give them a handy little box to keep them in um, then they can hand them out and you won't miss anybody's birthday um, another idea is a food drive so um, Right now, with COVID and people not having jobs and that kind of stuff, food is, is definitely something that people are needing. Uh, so you could do a food drive for a one of your local food pantries. You could do it specific for a specific program. Like um, I know a lot of the schools have the backpacks that they send home with kids uh, on Fridays. So you could get collect donations for um, food to put in those backpacks and then donate them to the schools. Um, you could donate to, um, to uh, I don't want to call them shut-ins, but people who get uh, food delivered to them. So you could donate to senior centers and they could deliver with the people's daily meals. They could deliver those food packs um, for when it snows or the weather is really crappy and uh, the delivery people aren't able to get to them. Uh, or the weather closes down the center and the food's not prepared. So um, you could do a food drive for that. Um, 
a couple things that I want to share with you. And then uh, if you have questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, Lila will text them to me if she doesn't know the answer. Otherwise, she's going to be answering them. Uh, but the first thing I want to share with you is uh, our council's um, kind of uh, community service project that we have going on uh, is called Show Your Spirit. So if you're looking for this and you want to register for it, you just go to our website and type in Show Your Spirit in the um, search box and it'll bring it up. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, it says Girl Scouts have always had a huge impact on their community. Be a part of Spirit of Nebraska's food drive. Thank our essential workers or complete a community service project. Show your Girl Scout spirit and impact your community. Upon registration, participants will be emailed information with project ideas to get you started and then let you take the lead. We will collect data on the number of food cans slash items you collect, essential workers you've thanked, or your own community service project. At the end of the project, all individual girls, troops, and volunteers will be invited to participate in a Zoom meeting where we will showcase the impact we were able to make in our communities and beyond. Uh, the Zoom meeting uh, link will be emailed out later after the girls have registered and, and it's close to the end of the event. And then patches will also be mailed out after the event is over. Um, and it's registered by December 18th, and it's $5 per girl, which includes the patch. Okay, so that's, that's what Spirit of Nebraska has going on right now. And then I'm going to share with you, um, GSUSA has some national service projects going on. Um, let me bring that up. So right now, it's fighting hunger. So everybody kind of has that same theme around this time of year of um, trying to make sure everybody has food. Uh, November, December, January, February, the cold months uh, through the holidays and that. Okay, so the National Service Project is Fighting Hunger. That um, project launched Monday, November 30th. It says more than 50 million adults, kids, and families in the U.S. are experiencing food insecurities a number that has only increased since the start of COVID. There are lots of ways for troops to make an impact even if they aren't able to do a, to give food directly. So they can promote or organize a food drive, which is what we've been saying. Um, thank a food bank hero or volunteer at a drive through food distribution program. And of course that's if they're old enough to be able to participate in that. Troops decide how they want to help and set a goal. How much food will be donated? How many cards will be written? Troop leaders report back via our survey to share how their troop contributed to fighting hunger. Um, and it says there's more information in the toolkit. Um, so if your troop is interested in participating in the National Fighting Hunger Food Drive, um, that's something that's going on right now. And then there, the national next project is Cupid Crew is what it's called, and it's Valentine's Day cards for seniors. Um, and that will be launched in early January. Um, so again, like over Christmas break when girls are kind of bored and they don't have anything to do, they could go... Um, they could make Valentine's Day cards because homemade Valentine's Day cards are awesome and um, the senior citizens would love them. So uh, right now they would also love Christmas cards because a lot of them aren't going to get to see their families. So that's a service project as well. Do Christmas cards and deliver them to a nursing home. All right, that is everything. Man, I went through that in 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so Lila hasn't messaged me any questions. Uh, so if you guys have questions after you've watched this, if you're watching it and it's not live, uh, just add them at the bottom and we'll keep checking it and making sure that we get you answers. Um, today when I was looking for project ideas, I did just Google uh, Girl Scout Take Action Projects and Girl Scout Community Service Projects. 
and there are so many things that came up. I could have given you an hour's worth of a list. Um, I just didn't want to do that. Uh, so there are so many things that we can do in our communities to help um, out. And the take action and finding out issues, I really, really, really like that. So um, have your girls brainstorm about things that are happening uh, in your communities and see what the needs are. And that's how you come up with your take action projects. So, all right, ladies, that's it for tonight. So uh, if you have questions, again, just put them in the comments and we will get back to you. Thank you everybody for coming. Talk to you later.